Hey guys, it's Sasha and I'm reposting a makeup routine. Like I said, and this is my updated one because my other one was literally booty. Do not wash that one. Please do not mind my dirty red room because I had no time to clean it. Well, I had a lot of time, but I chose not to take that time. And then when I had to film this, I didn't prepare myself. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these little clips. Like, I think they're so cute. And I'm gonna clip back my hair. Not my literal wig lifting. Okay, um, anyways. Okay, so the first step that I use is the CeraVe. CeraVe, yes. This is literally the best thing in the world. I love this moisturizer so much. Like, as you can tell, I don't have good skin, but this has definitely helped me a lot. And I just literally rubbed it in on my whole entire face. I did not, not, like, I'm not doing my eyebrows on camera because I don't know how to do my eyebrows and I'm not going to teach you how to do my eyebrows. Go watch a different tutorial for that because do not ask me how to do my eyebrows because I am literally terrible at it. Okay, I just got this chapstick. It's, like, tinted, but, like, I want to put it on because, like, my lips are chapped. Oh, that feels nice and, like, it's a natural cut. Hey. Okay, 10 out of 10 for that. That is really cute. So, I'm going to be carving up my brows, though. So, what I use for that is the Derma Blend Concealer. And it's in shade 5C. So I put it on the top of my brows. On the, like, my eyelids. And, like, just a little dot in between. But while I'm doing my eyebrows, I like to put on my concealer. And I use a Too Faced one in Swan. And I let it dry on my face because, like, it creates more of, like, a snatch look. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, like, a new thing that I learned. And, like, I literally love it. So, you know, I just go like that. I forgot my primer. Well, this is the primer I use, the e.l.f. one. It's really good, so I will just put that like on the bottom, I guess, since we already started. And I tap it in because like it makes it more sticky. That's what everyone says, so I do it, and it's actually good. Like the square does not hit like it used to, and it's really sticky and good. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay, and then I put it on my chin. And a little mustache. And I click connect it. Uh-huh. Explain it. And then I put like a little thing on my nose. And then a little thing right here. So while I'm letting that dry, I'm going to conceal these brows. Why is suddenly everything missing when I'm trying to do this video? Like, I just don't understand. But here's the brush that I use. Is I got it from Ulta. So I don't know what it's called. I don't know where it's from. But like, it's in... You know, it's just there and like important when you're doing your eyebrows i just started like learning how to do eyebrows within the past like six months so like don't come at me i haven't been doing them my whole entire life unlike some of y'all but eyebrows the way your eyebrows look literally kind of like i don't know in my opinion if your eyebrows don't look good your makeup is not gonna like come out how you want it to a good eyebrow day is a good makeup day a bad eyebrow day is a bad makeup day and then i just kind of like pat this in my hands or sorry my fingers because, like, I don't know. My brows don't look amazing, but it's the best it's gonna get, so. Now, you guys are gonna, don't judge me, but whatever water I can find, that's what I put on my beauty blender. And what I realized, putting water on your beauty blender, girl, it's literally a life changer. Like, trust. Don't judge me, please. Don't judge me. Sometimes you gotta do what you gotta do. I used to do, um, the setting spray, the Urban Decay. Bro, that's the worst setting spray in the most... The, ugh, I can't even talk right now, but that's really a bad setting spray. Like, that stuff literally melts off my makeup within three hours, two hours, two hours. Like, I don't know what it is about that, but it's terrible. But now I just kind of like like this, so it's not like literally dripping water. So the reason I do my concealer first, and I just started doing this, but it's literally a game changer in my makeup because I can get lighter under eyes because my foundation is obviously darker. So if I start on like my skin, it becomes way brighter under my eyes and it's literally amazing bro okay so after i did all that concealer now i'm gonna go in guys don't judge how this looks but the derma blend this is honestly one of the best coverage things i've ever had but at the same time i really like Too Faced. but i've been using this one lately and it works so i just take this and it's like hard like it's not like that so i just like go like that in it and i literally just go like this like that I kind of just shape out like where I want the brightness to be on my face. And this is my foundation, by the way. Derma Blend and 
shade honey beige this was low-key more in my summer color but you know gotta do what you gotta do i know like people say like oh like you know put baking under your eyes right away but i don't do that because i just go back in and blend until it just stops creasing and then i put on my baking so something about wet beauty blenders just totally changes your makeup guys like you just if you don't do it please do like for so many years i was like ew like why are you doing blender? like that's weird no don't be one of those people wet your freaking beauty blender guys anyway so i'm going with the hula beauty you guys don't mind how dirty this is but hula beauty and it's in shade toasted is that what it is so i take this brush i got it from ipsy i think yeah no no no. actually my stepsister might be i don't know but i take you know just go like this and i like dab it like i used to go like this but like it, i don't know it just like looks more like they like got it more like you know what I mean? And some some people only blend on their cheeks right here, but I blend all the way down because I like that like skeleton effect. I don't know, like my cheeks, like I have chubby cheeks, so like I like to keep my cheeks like skinnier. So yeah, guys, just blend your contour on based on your facial shape. Like obviously I'm gonna do that because when I have chubby cheeks, or sometimes people like to embrace their chubby cheeks and like do like make them more full, but I don't want to do that. Next step, I get my two face concealer in shade vanilla, and I go like this this is this is the thing this is what it is so as you can tell this is obviously a darker shade and i'm literally almost out of it but i put this on the bottom so it makes it more snatched guys i know you guys probably think that i'm weird for literally having like 10 different beauty blenders but i cannot use the same beauty blender or brush for anything like it's actually like irks me to do that i didn't dab enough water off of this and like you can literally see my pimples again Okay, so everybody and their mom has been asking me for a nose contour cons What did I just say? A nose contour tutorial. So I'm gonna give that to you right now. So it'd be very, very simple. One line right here, then circle it. There you go. One line right here, one line right here. And then I take the beauty blender that I blended my foundation with since it's darker. Because like it has a darker color on it, and I blend my contour with it my nose contour what percent am i at funny i said that because i was literally on two percent so anyways yeah just blend it but like i go over it a few times just to make sure it's dark enough because like, it it just changes its mind every day how it wants to look but but so i do like a little i do a little more concealer and i just put it like right here and then i take my rare beauty and this is in the lightest shade i think it's probably it's, is the lightest shade yeah i put it in the corners because i think it's like slightly lighter than my other one so i like to like make it like that i don't know like sometimes it turns out sometimes it doesn't so let's hope it turns out for the video but i like go like this and then i blend this and it's with a powder puff i know it sounds weird i know some of you guys are really iffy about it but like it's really amazing so i used the anastasia one i got the small one because i didn't know if i liked it yet I think the Huda Beauty one is a little bit better, but for now, I'm using this one. And it's just a really cute and good, really good quality. And this is actually makes my base stay on all day. So, I like the way the Huda one feels it's softer, but this one makes your makeup stay on, like, all day. And I like to, like, make my, like, baking, like, really, like, I don't know. Because, like, I don't know. The way you bake is, like, how sometimes my contour turns out. That's so common to do. So now I go in with this and I just stop, tap it once and just go on my eyelid with it. Because like my eyelid creases up if I don't do this. I like don't know. But this literally just changed everything. So. Also, um, if you're wondering how my eyelashes on, it's literally because it's 9 at night and I did not feel like reapplying them. But if I do make another makeup tutorial, they will be off. I promise. But these lashes are from CVS. They're just in like the black box and it has the word matte on it. Like, I don't know. Okay, now I'm gonna be going in with this eyebrow pencil and I'm using it. I usually use my pomade for my lip liner and it like, I love it. But not today because it's all in my backpack and I don't like it. Actually, I'm gonna use this lipstick. It's like Valentine. I don't even know what it's called, but got it from Sephora like a really long time ago. I just dab it in. Okay, so now I take off my baking because it's been a minute with it on. So I take this and I pat it in. Okay, so now 
I go back in with my console because like by the time I'm done baking, it like, I don't know, just goes away a little bit. So I just go over back over it just a little tad bit. Okay, highlighter time. So I did this highlighter and don't mind it. So it's literally a piece of it that's missing. Uh, but anyways, I, I used my other one, which I like my other one more, but I put it in the backpack for school. So like, so the square doesn't hit as bad. But I just take it on this brush and I make like a long line and then like a straight line. Because it gives you like a little like button nose or hood. And I put it in the corners of my eyes. But I do not like put like, oh, what the frick? I just got it in my eye. But I kind of like blend it out like right here. Oh yeah, I forgot. And I put a little bit under, I put this one a little bit under my ear. Now for blush. Literally all time favorite blush. Never doubting it. Never using another blush again. This one. Best color ever. Cutest color ever. And I'm not a big blush girly, but I just put it right here. I don't like a lot of blush. I don't like, I like the more like brown look, not such a pink look. I don't know, that's just me. Put my hair down and let's see the final product. Oh my god, what happened to my hair? What the heck? Okay, hold on. So here's the final product. It's literally so cute. I love how I started doing makeup like this and I will never quit. Well, I probably will like find something different. But for now, this is my favorite makeup. So thank you everyone for watching. Please like and subscribe and all my social media will be linked down below. And also, if you want to get all the products I use, go to my Amazon storefront, link down below and, you know, business email down below too. Because if y'all want to, my gosh. Did I already say thank you for watching? Thank you for watching. Um, Thank you for watching this makeup routine. I love it so much and I hope you guys do. Do too. Bye guys.